Hockey in High River is the big winner after the call went out for equipment following June's flood. Hockey Alberta put out the SOS almost as soon as the water started to go down and associations in Alberta and around the country responded. How much hasn't even been counted yet? Tamara Robbins is with Hockey Alberta. She sent out the first email asking for help in getting equipment donated. She says she wasn't prepared for what happened next. When I first sent the email out, I sent it to about 20 different contacts I had with Alberta in hockey programs and said, you know, if anybody's got used equipment, we're looking, pass it on to your membership. And my phone just started ringing off the hook. We had trailers show up from Fort Saskatchewan loaded. I had calls from Guelph, Ontario. I got this phone call and this lady's like, oh, Haley just twitted me. And I'm like, I don't know how to do Twitter. What do you, who's Haley? She was Haley Wickenheiser, started tweeting about it. And it went nationwide at that point. And we were getting calls from one end of the country to the other. Uh, it was just overwhelming. The stuff every day was like Christmas because doorbell would ring and pure layers dropping off or FedEx and we were, we've just been getting gear. It's turned into a six weeks of just gear every day running into Calgary picking up gear and trailer load after trailer load that we had to go get a haul because my garage filled up like within the first 10 days. High River Flyers president Bill Holmes says to see this kind of support is awesome and humbling. It's not surprising. What it is is uh, it's overwhelming to see the support. I mean, you got snaps and pictures. Around. I mean, they, they told me, and I asked Vince last night before our board meeting, you know, how much equipment did they get? He said truckloads and truckloads, and I thought he was exaggerating, and, and he wasn't. Robin says they quite literally have enough hockey equipment for everyone who wants to play hockey this season to get completely outfitted for free. From skates to sticks and everything in between, the cost of the players, absolutely nothing. It's for all the kids, anybody and adults, you know, and we're hoping because we've got senior stuff here like brand new jerseys and brand new skates that, you know, and new stuff that's like brand new. We're hoping that, you know, we can have them out later on Saturday and the senior men's and the rec leagues and the beer leagues that we can get them geared up or at least cover some of their gear to keep the cost down because hockey to me, I mean, it's... You, I can't imagine them taking hockey away from any of them. It doesn't matter if you're two years old or nine years old. Go through the warehouse full of new and used equipment goes this Saturday at the old D&J Design Shop on 18th Street in High River, just across the street from Extra Foods. There'll be a barbecue around noon, and they'll go until all the equipment is gone.